pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. I hope you're all having a good day. This is going to be a quick video on Ben Roethlisberger, a guy that was great on the field by Sora Hall of Famer. Obviously, he had some off the field issues with the assault allegations and so on and so forth. Um, there's many articles you can watch or watch. You can read to get more into that. I'm not going to talk about deep into that on here. He's a six-time Pro Bowl, two-time Super Bowl champion. Um, he did finish uh, this season uh, not all too well. The Steelers weren't all too well. They battled into a playoff spot, but kind of um, like the Eagles, just by their schedule and by default, by the way, <clears throat> other teams played ahead of them, were able to kind of get in and then um, were able to get eliminated right away. So um, the last couple seasons, Stephen A. Smith, I honestly think, I haven't agreed with a lot of the stuff he said recently, but had it hidden on there where he's a guy, just like Eli Manning, retired a little bit later than he probably should have. But Big Ben is going to go to the Hall of Fame. Eli Manning's going to go to the Hall of Fame, even though they retired a little bit later than they should have. Both will get in there as two-time Super Bowl champions. And you can argue Big Ben has had the more potent career than Eli. Eli's just a more well-liked um player in the overall populace of football fans than Big Ben for obvious reasons, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, but Big Ben probably has had the more resume-oriented career and the bigger overall career. Um, he's a guy that the Steelers, they obviously were very loyal to for right reasons. He won them two Super Bowls as one of the best, if not the best, quarterback in their franchise history. So they were loyal to him, but he was holding them back. Now they can move on and maybe go out and get a picket or whatever and have a very good quarterback uh, moving forward as their next future piece because do I think it's going to be Dwayne Haskins or Mason Rudolph? Maybe next year if they're not going to pick a quarterback in this draft just to be the holdover, but for the future, no. So I think they now have the opportunity to have somebody play uh, in the future and go out and pick them and not have any pressure of it being well now. Uh, of, of the loyalty with Steelers fans to Big Ben type conversation. He's now retired. It seemed like he was going to do it the last couple seasons. Probably should have retired after last season. Uh, came back this year. They were able to battle into a playoff spot. But um, you could just tell he wasn't even remotely close. He had an arm injury after being a shell of himself and the ability to actually slide around the pocket in the last couple seasons. And those two things don't mix. So he had... A fall off end of his career, obviously, Eli wasn't the same at the end of his career either. So both of them compare in that sense that they should have retired earlier, but both are future Hall of Famers, and both have had a hell of his career. Uh, we'll see um, if he's a guy that sticks around in any aspect. With the Steelers, I could easily see that happening with the uh, career he had for them, but we'll have to see going forward. This has been a quick video on Ben Roethlisberger's retirement, the two-time Super Bowl champion, six-time Pro Bowl Ben Roethlisberger re announced his retirement, and just like Eli Manning, he did retire a little bit later than he should have, but he probably likely will still be a Hall of Famer. Peace out, everybody. Not likely, will be a Hall of Famer. Peace out, everybody. Have a great, safe, pleasant day. This has been a quick video on Ben Roethlisberger's retirement. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget.